Hello everybody, today I have this um, Cummins ISX engine from the year 2016. It is on a Pirate Bill 579 um, and today what I'm going to do is to uh, change the speed limit that is on this vehicle. The speed limit is controlled by the engine, in this case it's a Cummins ISX engine. So it doesn't matter what type of body style, what kind of make you have, you can have a Freilander, you can have a Pirobuilt, you can have a Kangor, Volvo, International, it doesn't matter the brand. If you have a Cummins engine, you have to use a Cummins software to change the speed limit because the engine speed is the one that controls the speed limit of the vehicle completely. So what we're gonna do is connect the Cummins inside software to the vehicle. Um, this process is going to be similar for all Cummins ISX and I'm not sure for the new X15 that is coming out or is already out. I'm not completely sure but still is pretty similar from the 2019 and lower. Um, but I'm not sure about the new ones as I say um, so we're gonna do once this software is connected to the uh, ECM we go to features and parameters we wait until it loads mm. and then we go all the way down to rod speed governor over here we click on this and then we have the speeds over here. This truck, it is 65 miles per hour maximum with the accelerator pedal. When you hit the accelerator and you are on gear, the maximum speed is going to be 65. But lower on this one, you have this other speed limit. Say maximum vehicle speed limit and it says 120. So what's the difference between these two? It is then this the speed limit over here is going to be controlled by the gas pedal and this limit over here is going to be controlled by the gas pedal and the surface of the road. For example, sometimes you are 65 miles per hour and the surface of the road is a little like downhill or something, it's going to go faster than that. So if you have 120, uh, nothing will uh, stop you. But if you have 65 over here, and 65 over here, the engine will actually automatically stop you because it doesn't want you to go 60, I mean more than 65. In this case, I'm going to put the speed to 90 because this is an owner operator. Uh, this is like a lot of speed, but he, I know for sure he won't go up to 90, but you know, he can drive as he wants because he's an operator but if you are have you have a truck with a driver or something you have to be careful what the speed you put because you know uh, you never know right so in this case the maximum pedal speed is going to be 90 but if you don't want the truck going more than 90 you double click on 120 over here and you change it to 90 as well and when that is said, that means that the vehicle won't go higher than 90. It will stay at 90 miles per hour no matter what. Even if you press, even if you go downhill, it will try to stay. Maybe it will, maybe one mile, two miles up uh, because the hill will be some kind of like, like really great. So, but still it will keep the speed lower. So that way it doesn't go more than 65, more, more than 90, I'm sorry. But because this is an uh, owner operator, I won't do that. I will just leave it the way it was, 120. I know for sure he won't do any like that. So uh, once I have the parameter set the way I want it, all I have to do is go all the way to the top over here and send to the ECM, that's the leader thing over here. And it says, if I am sure then I wanna do it, I say yes and I just click OK and it will tell me to do this to switch the ignition off and press OK right we hit OK and this screen will appear then the system will start to upgrading I mean to to reset itself so all we have to do now is just to wait until it completes the waiting time then is this much still so we just wait for that and then that and it says then we have to turn the ignition on and press ok so once we have done that 
this screen will appear as you can see all parameters were uh, written successfully to the ECM that means then the job was come successfully done the way we wanted to do it so that's all you need to know to change the speed limit and as soon as you change the speed limit uh, you will see then this it will be the uh, new riding right now the new uh, speed limit and um, now all we do is close the uh, software and that will be all so this is all you need to know to um, change the speed limit on the uh, Cummins ISX engine as I said before it's going to be similar for all Cummins ISX engines um, from 2019 and lower uh, it is the same software and is the same process doesn't change at all um, and yeah that will be all um, you have any questions about this video you can use the comment section below uh, leave questions recommendations or anything to add to this video and uh, also if you want to send some kind of support to my channel you can do it as well you can use the description section below where I have details how to send support to my channel so I can continue making helpful videos for everybody. So like, share, subscribe and thank you for watching.